I am Miss Canal, one of your grade 11 maths teachers. Now, in our previous lesson, we looked at exponential function. Exponential is also the same as indices. In today's lesson, we would look at logarithm. Logarithm. What is logarithm? Logarithm is the inverse function of exponential function or indices. Let me just put in first the abbreviation that is used. Log is represented by L-O-G in small letters and it goes log B Y is equal to X. Let's try and understand what B Y equal X is before we continue on. B is equal to or is known as the base of the log. Y is known as the log. And X is known as the unknown. Now that we try to put it in that form, let's understand it. If it is got to do with logarithm as in an inverse of indices. In that case then, we would have, I'll give you an example. The base of these indices, because we have covered, example one is two. Two to the power of five. What is two to the power of five? Two to the power of five is two times two, is four times two would give you two eight, Multiply by 2 would give you to 16, times 2 would give you 32. All right, so the base is 2, the power is 5, and the result is 32. How do I express that so that I can understand all these funny figures there? Letters, pardon me, would give me to log base 2. The result is the log, so it becomes 32, and the power is written like that. That is an example of how it would have been expressed or understood from an indices form into log. Let's look at example two. In example two, I would use two as the base, and the power would be zero. Whoa, power is zero. That is equal to one. But why is it that it's two to the power of zero equals one? Two to the power of zero equals one. Any number in the counting system raised to the power of zero is equal to one. If it's a million raised to the power of zero, the value is one. If that is expressed in the form of indices, then in log form, it would be written as log base 2, 1 is equal to 0. That two examples on expressing a number in index form into log. We'd look at example 3. And in example 3, we will not use a base 2. The base can be written in any number. But in this case, I'd like to use 10. 10 is a very popular number that is used in, in mathematics. And with 10, it is raised to a power of, let's say, 5. If 10 is raised to the power of 5, it simply means that you multiply 10 by itself five times. But in mathematics, it only applies to 10. 
you count the, num the, the zero digits, which is five times according to the power. So you'd go one, two, three, four, five. So your answer then would give you to 100,000. That's a huge number. So if I were to express that into a log form, it would give me to log base 10, 100,000 is equal to five. That it gives us example number three. Let's look at an, an example and the example being in log form. If it is related to that, then let's see. If it is in log form, we would have, and we'll use one of those numbers that we have looked at, we would have log base two, 32 is equal to x. In that case then, the x is unknown. So how do I get and solve that? I refer back to the exponential form. So the base is still 2 raised to the power of x, and the result is 32. If x to the power of x is equal to 32, I look at 2 and I look at 32. 2 is a multiple of 32. So, yeah, I could use the base 2. So I would go 2 to the power of x is equal to, I think of how many times I could multiply by itself, 2 by itself, to give it to 32, and that gives me to 2. And if I multiply 2 five times, it would give me to 32. That goes off, that goes off. You are now left with the unknown that is equal to 5. That brings us to the end of our lesson. I hope that you have learned something from a very simple presentation of logarithm. Logarithm is a, is a big topic under real numbers. In our next lesson, we'll be looking at logarithm properties. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. Goodbye.